Well, the time has arrived. This is our co-main event of the evening. This is a very interesting fight. Uh, a lot has happened with this fight. Uh, really, uh, Kelly Oldfield was actually supposed to fight J.R. Coffrin. Uh, J.R. Coffrin pulled out of the fight. It's actually the second fight in a row that he's pulled out for HDMMA. Uh, supposedly he retired. Uh, somehow he took a kickboxing fight, you know, uh, the week before this card. Uh, so a lot of things going on, a lot of drama with this fight. Kelly almost didn't have an opponent. A lot of work had to be done, and at the end of the day, a really tough 135-pounder named Ode, uh, uh, Ode Osborne stepped up out of Wisconsin, came down here. He's 6-2. and two. Uh, He's going to take on Kelly, who's 4-1. 4-1. Wow. Well, Odie uh, like Osborne. Is it Odie? Uh, Ode. Ode. Out of Jamaica. Oh, sounds, oh, sounds, yes. sounds a lot fancier. Yeah. Ode. Yeah. Ode. Well, Ode definitely has a tough challenge in front of him, but, you know, respect for him to step up. Yep. And, uh... Yeah, here comes O'Day. He's uh, out of Wisconsin, training under Jake Clip up there. Uh, they uh, once uh, the fight went out and or the fight got dropped with Kelly, uh, they actually quickly messaged and said, "Hey, we'd like to step up and take the fight." And I mean, you can't ask for more than that from a fighter, especially when stepping up a weight class on short notice. And uh, Kelly, uh, his opponent, is actually also out of Jackson Wink MMA, like uh, Kate Smith. So a lot of experience. Uh, this is this is an interesting one. It's hard to predict because. Neither one has fought for us before, but they both bring an impressive track record. Well, uh, Kelly Field, Kelly Ofield definitely uh, in, in a great camp. So we'll see if he brings some of those skills and some of those things from that camp into this fight and is able to uh, put it on O'Day Osborne. Yep, and Kelly, I, I talked to with him a little before the fight. Uh, he actually, just like myself, uh, comes from Alaska. Well, he's from Texas, but he lived in Alaska for a while. He was also in the Marine Corps like I was. Uh, Fairbanks, Alaska, I'm from a different town. But anyway, now he is down in Jackson Wink. Uh, he's brought his whole family here. Uh, very excited about the fight, uh, put up with everything. The opponent changes, because we actually had a different guy we thought he was gonna fight before that, who actually didn't end up signing and ended up, you know, also kind of pulling out in a sense after like five days of signing, he took the fight. So kind of a mess, but at the end of the day, we ended up with a great matchup. Well, Kelly definitely showed up. He's had, uh, he's had, it hasn't had any thoughts about pulling out of this fight. So he's here. Uh, again, props to Osborne to pull, to uh, stepping up and taking this fight. And Kelly, I'm sure, is happy to have an opponent. So I'm sure he's thankful. Yep, and O'Day is one of those flashy, fun fighters. Like, I watched some tape on him. I talked to him a little bit. He's, uh, the word is electrifying. This kid's got strange, not strange, but unorthodox techniques. And uh, he comes at you from all angles. And being a 35-pounder makes me think he's going to be a little quicker. Yeah, you definitely expect him to be a little quicker. Uh, he's obviously going to be on a, on a very comfortable weight here at 145 pounds. But uh, we'll see how that transfers over. Uh, you know, being fighting another guy that's actually heavier. So I, we don't know what he walks around that, but we'll see the, the size difference here in a little bit once they're both in the cage. Yep, and uh, O'Day actually weighed in, uh, I believe, at 137. So he's not even up to the weight class. So. Oh, wow. And uh, Kelly, one of the things that I hear about him as far as his uh, abilities out of Jackson Wink, I guess his his style and his best skill set is striking. They say he's, the word that... I got was that he's cold as a striker. Cold? So, yeah, cold, gotcha. just, just precise. So, well, and he's that's definitely O'Day's looking, style, too. Oh, really? Yeah, he, like you said, he's very flashy. So we'll see these guys, two flashy guys, see uh, what the what the striking's going to bring in the cage. And I'm sure he's looking out to, or looking to knock him out cold. Yeah, I'm excited because this is the type of matchup, honestly, that uh, at least on paper presents itself to uh, possibly be a war, a striking bot, like a stand-up battle. But you'll see, the size difference is there for sure. Kelly is towering, Kelly's got the reach. But man, this kid O'Day is coming with so much confidence. Well, O'Day's wearing his uh, Muay Thai shorts. Yep. Makes me think that this is gonna be a stand-up war. Absolutely. But this is MMA, and uh, these guys, I'm sure, have a little more in the toolbox than just striking, so we'll see how it works out. Absolutely, here comes Kelly O'Field. He finally made it after everything he's went through in this camp. He's ready to put on a show. The smoke goes up, the crowd cheers. Kelly Oldfield on the way to the cage. He definitely has some following here, some uh, a crowd favorite here. He does, it was really interesting. Uh, uh, his sister actually uh, is the one that contacted us about him fighting on our card. 
Uh, she helps manage Kelly. Uh, he's a real quiet guy. Even during the pre-fight interviews when we were getting information on him, he's like, honestly, I, he's like, I don't want to talk about myself a lot. He's like, just like bare bones. He's like, don't, don't, don't worry about promoting me too much. He just wants to fight. <laughs> and, but yes, like uh, his sister, and we kept contact, you know, because the opponent changes this and that. And yeah, like uh, they brought a big following. They brought probably 40, 50 people here tonight. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, for a guy coming all the way from New Mexico to Oklahoma on the regional circuit, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good number for a guy coming from that far. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a big drive. That's flights, that's, uh, you know, making plans to yep. be able to come out here and support him. So uh, for him to have a big crowd like this, it definitely shows that he has the support. Yep, and that's exactly the thing. Like uh, you said, the flights and all that. One of the things the sister said after his opponent f uh, pulled out, she was really uh, saying like, hey, really, like, is he gonna have a fight? We're worried because families bought flights. We're all coming down here. And I asked him, I'm like, you know, ma part of the matching process, like you gotta, certain guys won't take certain fights. There's all that goes on. Kelly wasn't like that. He's like, look, I'll fight anyone. and. Got a 6 and 2 here. fight. Yep, now he's here. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your co-main event of the evening. This bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at an official 137 pounds. His professional record stands at six wins with two defeats from Cadahay, Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, Odell Osborne. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red quarter. He weighed in at an official 144 pounds. His professional record stands at four wins with one defeat from Anchorage, Alaska. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Offield. We go to Anthony Macias for your instructions. Anthony Macias about to give us the instructions for this co-main event. Right, one on the ropes in the back. Got any questions? Just for us now. Make your corner be ready. Here we go. Really excited about this one with everything that's gone on. I'm really, really excited to see these guys. I'm sure Kelly is too. Yep, here we go. Big strike off the bat. Wow. Kelly throwing straight. O'Day with a nice counter on the right side. Some beautiful striking here. Absolutely by good leg kicks. By both guys. And they're quick. Kelly's got that Wonder Boy style, it looks like. He's got that karate stance, and he's kind of sitting back waiting to strike. He's waiting on that r straight right hand down the middle is what he threw. There oh, it is, there right it is. There. A big right hand. O'Day took it in stride, though. Looking for that kick up the middle. Good movement. Gets out of range Ooh. and throws a right on the counter. Ooh. Now O'Day lands one. And back and forth they go. Ooh. Great counter. Good body by shot O'Day. there by. Yeah, O'Day's quick. He's, he's, he's getting right out of range of those punches and yes. landing his own with the counter. And if you look at his footwork, the way he moves that back foot, he's standing on his toes and he's like able to spring Ooh. real quickly. Big punches. But Kelly gets out of the way. Kelly throws a right, misses. O'Day ducks, and they're back in the center. You could feel the intensity. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Oh, nice left. Not Ooh. a lot of power, but he, he got that Ooh. range down, and he eats a punch. Straight right hand by Kelly. He, he keeps looking for that straight right hand. Now he has to be careful with just throwing that Oh, right big hand. left. Hit him with it. Throws a right and an uppercut. O'Day trying to get his timing. I think the distance Ooh. is kind of. And Kelly's oh, body, body is kick looking, and two punches. Definitely looking like he's taking some damage. Kelly tried to come up with kind of an uh, uppercut there. Missed. Trying to get his timing down here. Gets his distance back and they're. It's a really good fight here. Yeah. Tying up here and separating and. Back to the striking we go. Great technical striking here. You can see both guys definitely have respect. Both guys staying right out of range. Kelly's landed a couple of the straight right hands. But Kelly has to be careful because O'Day has those two, three, four shot combos inside that he's uh, looking good. He yep. has to be careful. Here it goes again. 
and Kelly's starting to kind of throw wild a little bit. He was a little more sharp earlier. Um, now that was a good one, and now he's tying him and puts him in the cage. Looking for a takedown. Doesn't look like he's got the grasp quite for it yet. O'Day doing a good job using his underhooks to try to defend. And spins out of it, but Kelly almost gets good it. Good Nice knee. body. But it's body to the knee, same yeah. side. Oh, another one. If you can see, Kelly's right side is, is, is taking some damage on those ribs. Yep. Kelly pushes him into the fence here. Uh, scoops oh. and slams him to the ground with a big takedown. And now he's in sight control. Now he's looking to split his guard here. And this is a pro bout, so these are five-minute rounds. So we've got about, not about, but exactly two minutes yeah. extra compared to the amateur fights. Now he split it here, so now he's going to be looking to take that knee and put it over. To get and full we're out. nearing the minute and a half left in the round mark. Kelly's now uh, kind of ended up in guard here. O'Day uh, looking to control his posture, looking to looking more like he's just trying to kind of tie him up than try to go for a submission. Trying to get control. But now he is. Look, he's he's got a triangle possibly here. And he can transition as that soon to an as I bar. said that O'Day went for a submission and try and sink it in and. He's close. Kelly's picking him up for a slam. This is Rampage style, oh. and he slams him to the ground. Oh, wow. my, but now he's in a triangle position. That is something that is they dangerous. tell you not to do. This is dangerous. They tell you not to slam your opponent when you're in a triangle because it, it can become tighter. It's and tight. Now, it's tight. Kelly's trying to is. punch his way out. He's scrambling Going out. to the side. He's looking. He's out. And he tapped. He tapped. O'Day finishes the fight with a triangle. After getting slammed to the ground, the fight ends in round one. Wow. Wow. What a fight. Good fight, but another quick fight. Another quick it's fight. It's just been a night of quick fights. Kelly looking a little bloodied up, but yeah. he did come out here. He looked sharp on his stand-up, but once he took him down, took O'Day down, O'Day felt comfortable and was looking like he had a great guard and ended up catching him in the triangle. Absolutely. In the moment, I, I got done saying he looks like he's trying to tie him up. He immediately went for the offense, and that was really the beginning of the end. Yeah. So a really, really good co-main event, a uh, really tough loss for Kelly. But, I mean, he showed the skills that he has that uh, they're good skills. He can rebound from this. He oh, can yeah. learn. Uh, he got, a, I think, a little overzealous, and I think that cost him the fight. But that will come with experience. And these, bo these, both of these guys have a lot of potential. 100%. Great fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout, the co-main event of the evening ends at four minutes and seconds, sec seven seconds into the first round. Your winner by tap out, out of the blue corner, Ode Osbo! <laughs>